Hey everyone, this is Chris. Uh, it's been a couple weeks now, but I am back with some more Lord of the Rings. Uh, and as you might have been hoping for, after some of the last videos, uh, we're going to be trying out a deck with the new Bilbo today. Uh, I did mention on Twitter, and probably in the last video, uh, that I was thinking about using Argolad and Bilbo uh, to do a really strong staging area damage theme. Uh, but I think today what I'm going to do instead, and by I think I mean I know because I built the deck and it's right here, uh, is we're going to play around with the Hobbit synergies a little bit more. Uh, you know, we have Friend of Friends that helps us really ramp up these stats in a broad variety of categories. Uh, we have Fast Hitch, which makes it really easy to ready Hobbit characters even without access to spirit. Uh, and I think this is just going to be a fun way to go about this. Uh, I am also playing Journey Along the Anduin, because I want to see if I can manage to deal with the Hill Troll entirely with Bilbo's ability. Uh, it should be possible. He has nine hit points. We have nine rounds uh, until we get to that threat if we don't play a single card. Um, but let's just see how this goes. Draw for the first turn. Two fast hitches, which is probably too many. Uh, but we can start off with a Shire Folk. Drop my threat down a little bit. Uh, 17 gives us a lot of leeway before we have to deal with the troll. So I have Warden of Healing, Fast Hitch, Friend of Friends. Um, let's go with Friend of Friends and Fast Hitch for, for initial setup. Uh, do Friend of Friends on Bilbo. And we'll put Fast Hitch on... Hmm. Put Fast Hitch on Falco for right now. Uh, his two attack is probably the most useful relative to everything else that's going on. Given all the rest of this, I'm going to play Drinking Song to just recycle my hand and draw back up four new cards. There's a, a small chance now that we get a second copy of Friend to Friends. Uh, but honestly, for the most part, I'm just looking for something that I can uh, build towards. Like if I draw a Treebeard, it's a great option to be able to play him next round and you know start dealing with smaller enemies uh, without needing to use Bilbo. I also should say that I am back on dice this week uh, because I know I do not have enough tokens to play a... Uh, Darren's runes. I just said Darren's runes. Uh, to play a staging area damage style deck uh, with the number of damage wooden tokens that I have. So rather than mix and match, we're just going dice. Uh, this hand is two Darren's runes, two Bjorning skin changer, which is not really better. Uh, although as soon as I draw one of the good Bjornings, that'll be a big help. Uh, but since we're not there yet, let's quest. Uh, I am going to send six to the quest. Um, and is it better for me to kill Eastern Crows? Just put the damage on the Hill Troll. The same either way. So let's just do damage on the Hill Troll. Six up against three. All right, massing at night turns it into six up against five. I will take one progress, that is fine. East Bite. We have to travel to. Uh, I will optionally engage Eastern Crows because it temporarily gets them out of the staging area, uh, which is gonna ready Sam. So I'll take my two defense up against, uh, all right, well, Pursued by Shadow is gonna raise my threat back up to 20. Uh, which is not my favorite, but is not the worst. Sam doesn't take any damage, and Falco Boffin shuffles the crows back in.
feel like with the way my luck goes sometimes that killing the crows is not worth it just because they tend to come back. Uh, but we're in an okay spot for that right now. We can keep killing them. One extra threat is probably not the end of the world. Uh, also, I realized I should have been seven willpower because of Bilbo's ability. So that is a whole two progress on the quest. Tick back up to starting threat. Refresh characters. Draw a card. Oh, well, there's Treebeard, so that's more or less what I was looking for. I will play Daron's Runes. Pretty good to... Oh, perfect. There's a Bayorn in the discard pile, which you can't see because it's off to the side. But no worries. We'll have access to him soon. In the meantime, Treebeard. I also just drew Rosie, who is a fantastic ally for hobbits and readying. But can't do that yet, so we're just going to quest. Uh, it's going to be seven again. One damage on the hill troll, bringing us to two of nine. All right, seven against three. Yep, and that is a thing that happens. One, two. Three. That doesn't mean we make four progress. It's not too bad. Uh, a Treebeard can take the damage, but Bilbo may be a little less so. See if I can draw out of this. Well, there's a Feint. That is a pretty good card. Yeah, so we're going to Darren's runes again. One, two. That's good. Uh, giant bear now in the discard pile. Didn't get any healing, though. You sting to pull out an enemy, but I need to clear this East Bite. I don't have the resources for anything else. Uh, so basically, at this point, we're just going to quest and hope that Bilbo does not get killed. I'm going to send nine. Up against three. Thanks to the Anduin is pretty safe. Nine against four is five progress, two and three. And at this point, to get it out of the way, I will travel to Enchanted Stream. We are not in a spot where I desperately need cards. It does mean that I can't draw a solution to Bilbo's health, uh, which we're just going to have to gamble on a little bit. Actually, no, that's... That's silly. We'll do Banks of the Anduin. I'm trying not to engage enemies, so it shouldn't get lost as a shadow card. I should be able to just continue cycling it over and over again uh, and use this one draw to really hope for a Warden of Healing. Well, Darren's Runes is maybe a Warden of Healing. It's a lot of possibilities there. Try it now. One, two. Second friend of friends is good enough. Uh, Ranger Spikes sitting at 23 threat is probably not the most useful card. So, uh, let's see. Spend two for a Bjorning Skin Changer, who will probably quest for now. I'm going to spend one for friend of friends on Sam. So now Bilbo and Sam both have a little bit of extra leeway in the health department. That's a weird thing to say about Lord of the Rings. Uh, anyways, and there's Rosie Cotton. So now our willpower game is definitely doing just fine. So we quest two, um, six, seven, eight, nine. 
I don't think I need to commit anyone else, but if I do, I can use Rosie. So nine up against three. Well, Evil Storm does nothing against low threat hobbits. Uh, so that is six progress. Three on Banks of the Anduin. And three on the main quest. Brings me up to the eight that I need. I will travel to Enchanted Stream. Um, I pretty much just drew the one card that I needed. And I think at this point I'm gonna go to combat and trade in this skin changer for oh, giant bear or bear. Let's take Bayorn. The defense is possibly more relevant. And I can still quest with Bayorn if I decide that I need that. So, ticking up to 24 threat. Standing up all of my characters, not drawing a card. Three resources on, yeah, three resources on Treebeard means that we can fight some stuff now if we really want to. Let's play Sting. We're going to wait until we get an enemy. Oof. I forgot that was going to mill our banks of the Anduin, but honestly, I'm not too worried. Uh, we also have a long time before we have to deal with Chieftain Uftok. Uh, and these two have a total of seven attack, which is too short of killing Chieftain Uftok. Uh, which is exactly how much damage we will put on Chieftain Uftok if we use Bilbo's ability. So I think that we're just going to be fine. So, questing two. Or I can just use Sam, actually, is possibly easier. Two, six, uh, seven, eight, nine, t uh, nine. Nine from these two up against three. That's fine. All right, so nine on three. Four, five is four progress. Two on the stream. Two on the main quest. Uh, we're going to take a little damage here, but it's okay. I will optionally engage Chieftain Uftak, which is going to ready Sam. Do I defend with Treebeard, or do I faint? I think we faint. Chief the Talk is just annoying when he attacks, so faint. Not going to deal with that. Not all told, I have 3, 7, uh, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Way too much to deal with Chief the Talk. Got a Necromancer's Reach as a Shadow card, which is great. Just tuck him up here in the victory display. Sting, in this case, I think is going to go on Falco. Mm. Yeah, right now Falco is the safest Sting carrier, so let's do that. Uh, he's the one that's pretty much guaranteed to be ready in the combat phase, whereas Sam might ready. I got one card left, so up to 25. I have to put a damage on a character because of the sniper. Uh, so now we're going to shift focus a little bit and deal with that goblin. I don't really want to just keep soaking up all of these hits. Although I suppose we could. It's a good amount of HP on our side of the board. All right, well, Halfling Determination is useless. Uh, so let's commit to the quest. Uh, two, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, nine, ten, uh, and eleven because of Sting. So eleven against three. Eleven against six is a total of five more progress. I don't really need to keep track of all of this, but it's kind of fun. 
Uh, I'm not going to travel to Necromancer's Pass because I like the cards that I have in my hand. Uh, and the Skin Changer could turn into something really nice. And plus that three willpower is not a big deal. Uh, so we'll take a second damage on Bayorn from the Sniper. We are now in a position uh, where we have to basically Sniper and then he'll troll the rest of the way, unless I draw some threat reduction. Uh, but Sting declared as a defender, so I could have Falco defend the troll to deal with that one last point of damage. Might be what ends up happening. Hmm. All right, so we're going to spend two tactics resources for a skin changer, and I'm going to drinking song to reshuffle and draw two. Uh, Halfling Determination is a card that I think is fun, but is not super important right now. Not in comparison to something like a Warden of Healing or... Oof, I don't even know what else we'd really be looking for at this point. Warden of Healing is basically all that you need to be fully set up from here. And I got Double Friend of Friends. I got Sting. We have Fast Hitch. More Fast Hitch would be good. One. Yeah, hey. There's a fun one. Uh, all right. Build a Pony. All the Hobbits have more hit points. That is probably worth it. Uh, and this extra Bayorn is not super helpful. So let's quest. I'm going to slide fast hitch to the bottom. That is three, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Killing the goblin sniper. I don't need to send anybody else. So eleven up against four. Up against nine is still two progress. And we'll travel to the Brown Lands, which gets explored. And I'm really hoping for an enemy or something, uh, because this has stopped really being very dramatic as I slowly whittle away at the troll. Draw a card. Well, extra halfling determination. Tribute is up to six resources. Dropped that one on the floor, but we'll deal with that later. And we will quest again. Three, seven, eight, nine, ten. Taking up to six damage on the troll. Ten against four. Against six is four progress. One. Three more. Uh, and I will engage Dog Elder Beastmaster. You have to kill some enemies the normal way. We do have time to kill the troll and then the Beastmaster with Bilbo, but that just seems excessive. Uh, so let's have Treebeard defend and ready. Chooses then returns an exhausted ally or raises his threat by three. Well. Okay. Second time that shadow card has hit me, which to be honest is more times than I think I have ever seen it before. Uh, but we have plenty of attack with Treebeard, Bayorn, to kill the Beastmaster. Uh, we just have to defend now against the troll in the normal way, because he's going to engage us next round whether I want him to or not. Uh, so let's get the Skin Changer out for a giant bear. With Halfling Determination, I can probably defend, uh, well, so Bilbo would be at five defense. Possibly worth it. We'll see what we draw. Tick up to 31. Draw a card. Oh, it's another bear. Generate some more resources. All right, so 
options, options, options. Build defense is not terrible. He has two, three hit points left. I have to draw a pretty big shadow card for him to die. Uh, but on the other hand, Bayorn is replaceable. Mm. Let's see what we get off the encounter deck. So, three, seven, eight, nine, ten. Up against four. Yep, Evil Storm is nothing. Casual six, more progress. <sighs> All right, I'm not gonna travel, so we'll just leave that. Have to engage the Hill Troll. I don't even need to do that much damage to kill it, which is good. Hmm. Alkaboffin could be at five defense. With three hit points left. That would do one point of damage for free, but that's pretty irrelevant. All right, well, sending Bilbo to the quest pretty much <laughs> got rid of any chance I had of clever combat math here, so we're just going to defend with a giant bear. Six attack up against all of that puts three damage on the bear uh, and we're totally fine i only need to do two points of damage which all goes three attack plus one free for that plus rosie is enough to finish off the troll and treebeard and bayorn just get to sit here and look pretty all right. we will send the troll to the victory display Move all of these progress counters. Move on to stage two. It actually might work out better in the end uh, that my threat is higher because it will force me to engage enemies once we move into stage three. Because uh, you could have the classic secrecy problem of getting enemy locked, essentially. Okay, now double halfling determination just feels silly. I suspect that I may have pulled in too many tactics cards for this deck, um, but I wasn't anticipating actually spending a lot of these resources just <laughs> because you get bears and bayorns for free. Anyways, we have to quest a little bit harder this round, so here is three. Seven, um, I'm not gonna send Bilbo. Eight, 10, is that worth it? Um, let's send Treebeard too. That brings us up to 12 against three. I have Despair, which does nothing, and East Bite, which is pretty soft. All right, 12 against four is eight progress. We are forced to travel to the East Bite. I can do nothing else. I mean, I could Halfling Determination to boost up some of these stats, but it's pretty irrelevant. Draw my card for the round. Deep Knowledge is well appreciated. <laughs> Maybe I can get something to spend these resources on. One, two. Well, extra sting is useless, uh, but I will put a Woodman's Clearing on the quest. Uh, one resource away from just putting out another giant bear. Let's go for it. Three. Seven. Uh, we will send Bilbo this time. Eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Up against three, four, uh, five, six. That was 14 up against six. Uh, should be 15, right? 
3, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Nope, 14 up against 4 is 10 progress. 6 and 4. Does drop my threat back down to 32. Which is not actually enough to uh, avoid the hill troll. Uh, could I kill the troll? Yes. That what I would like to do. I think also yes. So let's optionally engage the troll since I get to do one of those. I'm gonna have Bayorn defend. Uh, the bear would definitely die. Bayorn has a pretty good chance of survival. And if I get that return and exhausted ally shadow again, I can. All right, Misty Mountain Goblins just removes a progress token, which is basically nothing, especially if you forget to flip it to 2B. Uh, so Baron is going to take three damage from the troll. And I can do 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, plus one for free is 12, adding a second hill troll to the victory display. And we are uh, pretty anxiously awaiting healing at this point. There aren't any more trolls left, thankfully. Chieftain Uftak is out. Uh, but we could still get Marsh Adder. Could still get some other fun things. Let's see what happens. 34? I might have ticked that up already. If so, probably doesn't matter. All right, I drew another friend of friends, which is not useful. But hey, five tactics resources is a fresh bear. Getting to the quest yet again. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Against three, four, five, Ooh, nothing on Evil Storm again. All right, oh, against five, that is nine progress. With the 11 that we already have, brings us to 20, taking us up to the ambush on the shore. Just going to spawn two cards. One, two. Hey, look at that. Uh, we do reveal, so I have to do two damage to a questing character. Which I think at this point, um, honestly, bye, Bill the Pony. You were useful, but I'm probably going to be pretty close to done with the quest this round. I don't really need any of these things. Uh, so I might as well travel to Necromancer's Pass just to get it out of the way. Cards in my hand are all pretty useless. One, Halfling Determination and Friend of Friends. And I am forced to engage all of these enemies. Good thing Treebeard has resources. One, two. Good thing Treebeard has resources until you knock all four of them onto the floor. All right, so uh, I have three defenses to do. None of them are too terrible. So let's have Bayorn defend against the Wargs. Just going to see what happens there. Plus one attack. Uh, means Bayorn is actually dead. All fine. Treebeard will spend two to defend the Dog Elder Orcs, taking no damage. And we'll spend the last two to defend the Dog Elder Beastmaster, which get an extra shadow effect. Uh, plus one attack means one damage on Treebeard. And at this point, I have three. Do this, that's just enough to kill the wargs. Total of eight left. Uh, which kills Dogwalter Beastmaster, thanks to these giant bears. 
And I don't have any additional readying or clever shenanigans like that, so we're just gonna roll with it. Tick up to 35 threat, going into what will definitely be the final round of the game. Draw my last card. Decide I don't really care about these resources because there's just way too many of them on all of these cards. I will send Rosie to the quest just to clear this Necromancer's Pass for fun. Dogolder Orcs gets a Shadow Car. Treebeard can defend. No Shadow Effect. Uh, and I think somehow between these two best friends, Sam and Bilbo, uh, and Falco Boffin with Sting, plus two giant bears, that we will be able to deal with one pack of orcs. All right, so that was a quick journey along the Anduin with new Bilbo. Uh, definitely seems pretty solid. Although I will say, uh, I think the best thing about hobbits is still sort of how low threat they are and how easy they are to ready. You know, Bilbo's ability to quest and do a little damage is definitely cool, but it's not, not as impactful as, uh, well, Lore Pippin, who I decided not to bring, or Spirit Mary, or... I mean, even Sam's ability is just really phenomenally strong if you're working around it. All right, everyone. Gonna do it for this week. Thanks for watching.